Alice Springs is aviation. From the beginning of aviation to the bombing of Darwin, the Royal Flying Doctor Service, the airlift for Cyclone Tracy, and most recently, the unveiling of the Qantas Dreamliner. Aviation is embedded in Alice Springs history. It has played a large role in shaping this place. Alice Springs was home to Conair, or Connellan Airways as it was originally known, which was run by Edward John Connellan, my grandfather. So we had very sophisticated engineering facilities based here in Alice Springs. We had over 120 pilots. I think you've got to have a passion for it. But that's very easy to develop. But I think anyone, anyone who wants to do it should do it, because it is, it's, it's a wonderful career. With a connection to every part of Australia, and named Major Airport of the Year in 2014, with 3,456 hours of sun each year. Alice Springs is unique. We are the biggest airport in Australia by landmass, an incredible 3,500 hectares of land, so we have room for expansion. Our main runway is uh, 2,400 metres long, 45 metres wide. We have a Cat 7 uh, fire service, we have a Category 1 uh, ILS system, uh, we have all the navigation aids required. Not only that, we have no curfews, no uh, restrictions whatsoever, and most importantly, we never have any noise complaints whatsoever. We are unique as an airport in Australia. We have a range of aviation activities here in Central Australia, including ballooning and gliding. We cater for all aircraft. Our runway can, uh, is an alternate for A380 aircraft. We can cater for narrow body and wide body aircraft as well. 